Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to do ancestry classification. Okay, let's skip ahead. Okay, so these are the classes, right? I'll leave a link to the data set on my GitHub, which you guys can see. As you can see, it scored pretty well, and we're going to need to splice because the data set is only for chromosome 10. It's very underrepresented. It's very hard to get a good data set for chromosome 10. Okay. Anyways, guys, let's get started. Okay, so you're going to read this with pandas. Separation T, error bad lines equals false. Read this one. Error bad lines equals false. Read this one. Okay, we're going to need to merge those two together. And then this is our prediction file, which we're going to use to predict. Okay, guys, just so you know, um, if you took a test with Ancestry, 23andMe, MyHeritage, any of them, you guys can just download this data file and follow this tutorial. See my other one for um, gene segmentation with k-means and PCA. I did the same one. Um, now, just so you know, um, uh, we're going to do multi-class classification, which is exactly how these uh, companies do it, whether you upload or take the test directly. Let's get started. DF1 head. Okay. Genetic map. We're going to drop this one. And then uh, since this one, like I was talking about, is chromosome 10, all we have is the position in the, this one. And then uh, our population, which is those classes. So we're going to drop those. We're going to drop this and this and this. The RSID number is usually private. That's why it's very hard to find a data set with an RSID number if you can find a data set with populations at all. if you Believe me guys, if I could have found a better one, I would have and I would have gladly shared. However, I couldn't. Um, merge this one on this one. Index equals true, true. Head. There's our new data set. And we're going to use the standard scaler so we don't have to encode it and do LE transform, inverse transform. You know the prediction? Standard scalar. Okay, drop population axis equals one. There's their target population. From model selection, import test train split, X train, Y train, test train split, 20%. Standard scalar, fit transform, and we're going to use the decision tree classifier. Model fit, X train, Y train. Y pred equals the predict the X test. And the splice 200. There's our predictions. As you can see, import these and score because we're going to cross validate. And pass that macro parameter right there because it's multi class. Print the comp mat for the confusion matrix. Fig plot. And look how it did. Now, guys, uh, in this data set, be advised, since this is underrepresented, it doesn't matter, um, you know, what race you are, uh, whether you're Asian, white, black, whatever, you're underrepresented here as well. As for me, all me Spanish, British, and Tuscan, Italy are the only European ones. Anyways guys, um, as you can see it performed very well but it's very underrepresented and it's only at chromosome 10. That's why we're only going to predict it for chromosome 10 anyways for positions at chromosome 10. You see? Because if you go to your DNA file, you would want to splice your own DNA file in between to get chromosome 10. You guys see? 
So that way it's making a poorly represented but somewhat accurate prediction because it's predicting at a chromosome 10 and then how it gets it is the position. And Italy is not extremely far off. I have no Italians in my family tree. However, let me explain. I've gotten Italian 2% on Ancestry before on another version, but that is because if you have British, it's not, or in Scottish, it's not uncommon to have Italian traces. Same thing if you have German and you have um, Jewish, it's not uncommon. Same thing if you have Eastern European Ancestry, it's not uncommon to have Jewish or non non-European Asian blood, which I've had on other DNA tests as well. On another version, I had, um, that's how these things work, is multi-class classification, assigning it to the most relevant one. You guys see? They're all different data sets, as you know, and um, all different um, algorithms they use. Example, Ancestry uses Timber. This one uses Genome Mix. And uh, Genome Link uses academic data sets. Ancestry tests people and assigns genes themselves. So do a lot of the other ones. Um, same thing if you have Irish, it's not uncommon to have uh, Iberian, which I have on a couple other DNA tests as well. It's not uncommon to have traces of Iberian, usually not that high. This one gave me higher. It's because uh, supposedly when the Spanish Armada was defeated, when the Spanish Armada was defeated, uh, they washed up on the shores of Ireland, supposedly. So if you have a lot of Irish ancestry, it may not be uncommon to have traces of Spanish. Same thing if you have uh, Eastern European and then you've gotten like 1% Greek it's, or Balkan. It's not uncommon to have that. Or I've gotten Finnish on another DNA test. I even got a genetic community. Um, Funny part is no finish in my tree. Maybe it was confused for Latvia. Anyways, um, eh, as far as this one, this one, uh, it's funny. I have a 10th grade grandparent that was uh, Swiss. Thought my French would be higher, but... Hmm. Same thing on Ancestry. Um, I got like 4% French and then it went away. Yeah. Well, anyways, guys, this is how this all works. Let's go back down to it. So, uh, so when it predicted Italian, well, uh, I have gotten like 2% Italian before on one version of Ancestry, which if you have English and Scottish, it's not uncommon. Same thing if you have German or Eastern European to have traces of Central Asian or, or Central European Jewish, which I've gotten on uh, different versions too of different tests as well. Yeah, that's the thing. That's how these all work is multi-class classification. And as you can see, it depends on the data set. There's only uh, three that are European. And at 98%. But we did the best we could do is we predicted our test data. We only predicted chromosome 10 because these were only tested at chromosome 10. No, seriously, the whole file, all the people in the data set were all the different ethnic groups, chromosome 10. So it wasn't completely far off. I mean, so it, it predicted my trace as the majority of me. Kind of crazy, but yeah. 
However, this is a limited data set. Another one, like I told you guys before, predicted I was Yoruba, the naive bays, right? You would think the naive bays would uh, not be that one far off. However, it was. It had a 24% F1 score. Anyways, guys, um, just so you know, um, if you guys ever find a data set, you guys can make your own application right here. You guys, just so you know, this is just European report. I have an Asian report, too. I got Turkic and uh, same thing on another company. I got Central Asian, but this one said Turkic in like point zero zero three Siberian. Anyways, um, uh, yeah. Like I said, this is how you talk to uh, non-technical audiences to show them how it's performing. Like right here and here. And you guys, if you guys want to change how much it predicts, um, let me just type in a random number. You see? So predicted a minority of me is the majority of me apparently. But this is a limited data set. And guys, see my channel for ML Ops and see my channel for reinforcement learning playlists. See mine for IBM Watson Studio. See my um, Azure deployments, Google Cloud deployments, my database video, SageMaker videos. And my uh, playlist for my main playlist where I do the full stack of data science. Anyways, guys, um, if you're here on my channel for the first time, don't be a stranger. Feel free to hit like and subscribe. Also, feel free to share. And if you've been watching my videos, I really appreciate you guys. And I'd appreciate it if you guys shared also. About the guy who left the comment last time, um... Yes, you're right, the reinforcement learning, but something different than OpenAI Gym for video games, it's coming, don't worry. I just felt I needed to do something. And uh, see my uh, AI and ML web apps, including content-based recommendation systems, which I'm going to get to more. I haven't done a hybrid recommendation system yet. Don't worry, guys, that one is coming. And, um, anyways, guys, uh, feel free to, um, check out my other videos. Anyways, guys, I hope this really helped you out. Take care. Thank you. Till next time. Bye.